Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome once again. Another Sunday morning, the first Sunday in the month of May. My, 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 we have lived to see the first Sunday in the month of May in 2021. That's something to be thankful about. We do not take it lightly. I know I don't. I don't take it lightly. Car Bethel and friends, welcome, welcome, welcome to another Sunday morning. Get your communion uh, sacraments ready, whatever you have, juice and some form of bread or crackers. And at the end of the message, the service, we will go into our short communion ritual. Amen. We remember the death, burial, suffering and burial and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But for a little while, a few minutes, why don't you help me lift the name of Jesus? Amen. Praise the Lord. Get your communion ready so that by the end of the message, we can go into our communion ritual. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come ye that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song of sweet accord. Join in a song of sweet accord. And thus surround the throne. And thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion. That beautiful. O city of God, let those reap used to sing who never knew our God. Children of the heavenly king, the children of the heavenly king may speak. Their joys abroad may speak. Their joys abroad. Whoa, we're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful Zion, we're marching upward to Zion, that beautiful city of God. The hills are thousand six, a thousand sacred hills. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground to Pharaoh. Worlds on high to fairer worlds on whoa we're marching I am beautiful beautiful Zion we're marching upward to Zion that beautiful city of whoa we're marching to Zion beautiful beautiful Zion we're marching upward to Zion, that beautiful city of God. Where we're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, that beautiful city of God. Amen. Marching to Zion, that beautiful, that beautiful city of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. That beautiful city. Hallelujah. Of God. Amen. Join me at the throne of grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Our Heavenly Father, once again, Lord, we come humbly before your throne of grace. Once again, our Heavenly Father, we, we come, oh God, because we realize that you are our one and only true God. We come because we realize, oh, Heavenly Father, you are the only one that can do our poor souls any good. We come this morning, our Heavenly Father, because we need you right now. And we recognize, oh God, that you are God and God by yourself. We realize, oh, Heavenly Father, that you have brought us from a mighty law, or rather you brought us all the way. So we come because we realize you've been good to us. You've been kind and you've been merciful. Lord, you have watched over us. Hallelujah. You, and you watched over us all night long last night. And then early this morning, thou touched us with a finger of your divine love. You woke us up out of a deep slumber of sleep. And here we are. 
endeavoring to sing praises to your holy and righteous name. Endeavoring to serve you in spirit and in truth. For you know, we know, that you seek as such to serve you. Most of all right now, Lord, we come thanking you. Hallelujah for your son, Jesus Christ. One that hung, bled, and died on the cross and was sick until the ninth hour. Died, our Heavenly Father, we all have a right to the tree of life. We thank you right now, Lord. We thank you for salvation offered to us through our faith in Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son. Oh, bless your name. Thank you, Lord. We feel pretty good right now. <laughs> oh, Lord, we feel good right now. Because you've kept us. You've watched over us. Hallelujah. You've brought us one good degree of grace into another. We don't take it lightly that we're here right now. Hallelujah. Bless your holy and righteous name. Continue, Lord, to hold us in the hollow of your hands. Please say, have mercy right now. We're leaning and depending on you. Bless, oh God, the sick, the afflicted everywhere, including those behind the prison walls. Oh God, let the hem of your garment be touched. For you got more medicine there than all the, the doctors in the history of the universe. We pray, oh God, that I will bless them who are less fortunate. And those who, oh God, remind them behind the wall that you, that, oh God, you are a lawyer who never lost a, a case. And then, oh God, there's still time for them to give themselves over to you. We glad you're a doctor who never lost a patient. Take care of us during these times. Pandemic times, hallelujah. But, oh God, we rely that you'll take care of us. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you, oh God, for everything, your faithfulness, everything you've done. Please uh, lead and guide us in the way that we should go. And then, Lord, we realize that one day it'll be over. Saturday day will be over for us. And we'll come after coming out the old smoke down the field, stick our bow, sword, and sand the time. Ain't gonna study one no more in that down. We pray, oh God, that thou would meet us. Hallelujah. <laughs> meet us and call our souls over to that God blessed land. We can sit down around the throne. We come to give your name. All the praises now and throughout eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Been good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> ah, my, 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 my. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bless your name. Bless his name. Bless his name. I know we feel a little bit better. Amen. After having been to the throne of grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. From having been to the throne of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite you now to the scripture lesson. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. To the scripture lesson, which is going to be found in the book of Psalms, the 121st. Amen. 121st Psalm. Amen. 100. Very familiar passage. Very familiar. The 121st Psalm. Oh, my, my, my. In its entirety, 121st Psalm. Lord, help us, help us, help us, help us. The 121st Psalm reads King James Version. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hill from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keep, keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. 
Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. My, my, my. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, for announcements, I would like to make a couple of announcements. Amen. Uh, I would like to I would like to announce that on this afternoon at 2 p.m., oh, just a few couple of hours from now, a few hours from now, I will be down in Carrollton, Georgia, St. Paul AME Church, where the Reverend Larry Irving is the pastor who was the speaker for our Family and Friends Day, and what a Family and Friends Day time we had. Beautiful, 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 excellent service on last Sunday. And I will be journeying to do Family and Friends Day, be the Family and Friends Day speaker, St. Paul, amen, in Carrollton, Georgia at 2 p.m. Amen, 2 p.m., praise the Lord. So we'll have another message for you later on at 2 p.m., praise the Lord. All right, hopefully it will be streamlined where you can see it, amen, information to come later on, amen, 2 p.m., hopefully it will be where you can see it. I can get it to you. At 2 p.m., Family and Friends Day, Reverend Alexander, yours truly, the speaker, St. Paul, AME Church in Carrollton, Georgia. Now, let me say this. The annual conference uh, officially opens. The official opening service, amen, is Tuesday the 4th, uh, and we'll go through the closing service, which is the next day on the 5th. Amen. Praise the Lord. The events for the opening and closing are at the Airport Hilton Hotel. They have to take certain precautions to spread the attendees out, and they're trying to accommodate as many of the ministers as they can. Should you desire to go, you won't be guaranteed a seat. Um, they're asking for the pastors to come, but for everyone else to view uh, the service as it is streamlined. Uh, so therefore, the opening and closing will be at the uh, Atlanta Hilton, the airport Hilton, and the events in between and components and all those meetings, different things will take place at, uh, at Flipper Temple A.M.E. Church. I sent, I believe, out something to you, and I'm going to send something else out to you that hopefully will help you to know when what is going on, to know when what is going on. How about that? To when to know when to tune in for what part you want to see. Amen. I believe I have something else that may can help a little bit better. I'm going to send that out as well. Amen. So look for that in your emails. Amen. The the co annual conference officially opens Tuesday morning with the opening uh, worship service and closes Wednesday with the closing worship service. Amen. Praise the Lord. As you know, there are events that started taking place Saturday and today, and then there's going to be events Monday, of course, but the official opening service is Tuesday morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. They're going to get started, I believe, around nine o'clock or with some form of roll call, and I think 10 o'clock be service, but uh, be sure, just read the correspondence that I send out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I am going to make an offertory appeal for those of you who are ready, amen, I hope some of you are, ready to give this week, amen, take that offering, amen, write the check or whatever you have to do, I'm going to call on that for now, amen, praise the Lord, and help us, amen, to remain open and to do, praise the Lord, what it is that God requires us to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before I make that offertory appeal, I've got to say a little more than I've already said about the events that took place on yesterday because Reverend Alexander was shown much appreciation, love, and honor on yesterday around one o'clock. Praise the Lord. One o'clock. They had a committee 
put together. Or I'm not going to even call the names, so they won't. They won't. They won't. Have, they don't like for me to call their names. I'm not even going to call the name. But a committee was was formed, and Alexander didn't know nothing about that committee being formed. They ain't told me nothing. They was forming no committee, and they ain't told the preacher they was forming no committee. But uh, the preacher ain't mad. Don't don't you think I'm mad about it? Don't you think I'm mad because that committee was formed on my behalf? Praise the Lord. I, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I was so impressed. I was humbled by what was done and what was said. For these times, you cannot have your normal. You're still trying to wait just a little longer before we launch into just a full-fledged normality like we used to do. Things. So I appreciate it and thank you so much. The committee and Carl Bethel, praise the Lord, and me, church, for what you did for Reverend Alexander, yes, yours truly. I took the gifts, and they were monetary gifts and cards and things. Thank you so much, Cobb Bethel. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm still high on cloud nine from yesterday what Cobb Bethel and friends did for Reverend Alexander. Comments. Amen. Things that were said, accolades that were given, and all this kind of thing from Cobb Bethel. And friends, thank you all so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, Lord, right now. Get your offering together. Oh, you say, the Lord, he's blessing me well now. Oh, Lord, right now. Oh, oh, oh he woke me up this morning and he started me on my way the Lord he's blessing me right now right now right now if you believe it help me say it one more time the Lord is blessing me right now Oh, Lord, right now, who is it? You know it's the Lord. He's blessing me when you know it's right now. Oh, Lord, right now. Oh, oh, oh. he woke me up this morning and he started me on my way. The Lord is blessing me. Right now, right now, right now. Lord, we thank you for blessing us right now. We thank you, Lord, for your hand of mercy. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah, that made it possible. We thank you, O oh God, for our existence up until this present moment. Bless the offering, O oh God, that is given this week. We pray, O oh God, that bless the givers, those that have it to give and those that, that may not have it to give. Please uh, have mercy. Help us to use it, O oh God. Multiply it for the use of the continued upbuilding of our kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now, ah, uh, praise the Lord. I feel so good. Amen. 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 I'm not going to hold you. Amen. Because I'm after this, I'm going to get ready for another, another service later on now in Carrollton, as I've said. I'm not going to hold you long. I'm going to talk to you this morning. Amen. I'm going to talk to Carl Bethel, AME Church, and friends because these are perilous times. These are times of uncertainty for some folk. Times of uncertainty. Times I don't know which way to turn. All kinds of things going on. And I've endeavored through preaching. Oh, yes. Many messages. Yes. To, 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 to help us. Hallelujah. Hmm messages uh to 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 help us to continue on the journey uh, uh, uh messages to comfort us messages uh to encourage us strengthen to let us know amen and i believe the preachers got to do this during these times we need to be preaching hallelujah the message of jesus christ and that he is with us and that through him uh, we can do it we have no reason to be afraid in these times right now. Ah, my, my. And I'm going to invite you, amen, praise the Lord, I'm going to invite you to the 
the first two verses, amen, of Psalms 121, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hill, from which cometh my help. My help come from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you look at Hebrews, Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Mm -hmm. The 5th and 6th verse. Hebrews, the 13th chapter, 5th and 6th verse. Hebrews, the 13th chapter. 13th chapter, 5th and 6th verses. Mm. We believe Paul is the writer here, we believe. Amen. The writer here, amen, says, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man can do to me. My, 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 my. No matter how bad it gets, we can still be content. We can still be like David. We can still be like what we believe as Paul says here, that we can be content and have conversation without coveting something. I got to have something, especially something somebody else got. We think it's better than us. Oh, my God. For just a few minutes, I'm going to be brief. Hallelujah. I'm going to be brief. But 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 I'm hearing some things. I'm hearing, I'm hearing some things that make me have to preach this. I'm hearing some things. Uh, 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 I want you to think for just a few moments on the thought, my help. For a few moments. My help. My help. My help. My help. My help. My help. Hmm. Lord, oh, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. My help. Hallelujah. Now. I preach these, these some similar time because I'm trying to get somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. Mm, come out of the darkness into the marvelous light. To realize where your help really is. Mm. Oh, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. Uh, first of all, uh, David, 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 let, let's go. David. David says, I will look to the hills, lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, the help is not really in the hills. Uh -huh, we know that. It's not really, the hills don't help you. It's something out there around the hills. But, but, but it's something there. It's something around you when you look. You can look to the hills. Uh -huh. You can look to wherever you want to look. You can look to Washington, D.C. You can look anywhere you want to look. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that second verse tells you where your help actually going. My help cometh from the law, which made the heaven and the earth. What makes us think or anyone believe that someone who can make heaven and earth, <laughs> hallelujah, can't see us through? Hmm? How can a pandemic Oh, hallelujah. I don't care COVID-19 or anything else. Uh, do anything to stop our matchless God who made heavens and the earth. Huh? He is all powerful. So why do we have individuals, yes, yes, individuals crying out all the time, about the pandemic and this and that and the other. And I just went, oh, don't worry. Listen, do you know your help? Mm, of course, that help is not, not freely coming like you expected. If you haven't been born again, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you'll depend on all the other kinds of help. The government can help to a certain extent. Stimulus checks go out to us. And they ought to go out to us, pay all them taxes, you know, paid and all that kind of thing. And especially the black man, they ought to send by 10 most stimulus checks. Hallelujah. So the black man, that, that, that's no doubt. Uh, but, 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 but realize what that is. I'm trying to tell you now that anything you get, the Lord uses the same folk that you think ain't willing to help. Ah, uh, my, 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 my. To send out stimulus check. Now listen, listen, listen. Uh, 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 our help, 
comes from the Lord who will never leave us, who will never forsake us, who will never turn his back on us. Hmm. And uh, just think about David uh, fighting battle after battle after battle. We ain't out there fighting battles like David was where our lives, very lives are on the line. We have some battles. Hallelujah. We've got some battles, but battles like David was, get your communion ready. Don't forget, get your communion ready. But, but battles like David is having where his very life on the line and the life of his people. And, and, and he often is between mountains and hills and all this kind of thing. And he says, I look to the hills, hallelujah, from which cometh my help, hallelujah. Uh, but he realized that the help comes from the Lord. No matter, so you can look to the hills, look wherever David surrounded, hallelujah, by hills, uh, oftentimes surrounded by mountains. Uh, and then the enemy, hallelujah, is before them. They have their backs to the mountain to keep the enemies from attacking behind. But the enemy is often in front of them with the mountain behind them. Mm -hmm. And he needs some help. Hallelujah. And so therefore, he looks, hallelujah, he says, up to the hills. Oh, my God, my, lift my eyes up to the hill from, well, but, but where is, uh, David says, my help going to come from? And then he asked, well, my help is going to come from the Lord, mm, which made heavens and uh, the earth. Hallelujah. I made heaven and the earth. If he made heaven and the earth, as I've already said, then therefore there is much help. Hallelujah. There is much help. For you and I, my, 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 David, the warrior. And I'm going to be through with just a minute. I, 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 I just want a, a somebody, somebody to hear these words and to perk up. Hallelujah. To perk up and realize that if God, hallelujah, is on your side, God is your help. God will never fail, never leave you. Think every morning when you get up, God, hallelujah, is my ever-present help. Hallelujah. <laughs> he is my ever-present help. Don't complain. Don't worry. Yeah, I took, you, you took the shot. Take the shot in faith and move on because God is your present help. Hallelujah. He is our help and is going to help us to get back in the church. If you're yearning to meet your friends and family in the church, God is going to help us. Hallelujah. Get back in the church. Hallelujah. My, my, my. God is our help. He is our strength. Hallelujah. Ah, my, my, my. And through his son, Jesus Christ, he is the rock. Hallelujah. Of our salvation. Uh, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For ye have said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. What should any of us who are Christians be worried about? We can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Mm. And Luke 1 and 37, the 37th verse of the first chapter of Luke. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Mm. Mary, yes, Mary was about to have a baby and the angel told her so. And she's wondering, well, my goodness, I haven't even known a man. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, but the hand of God, hallelujah, oh, is on you. And the hand of God is your help to have a baby. Is there anything too hard for God? No, 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 no. Nothing is impossible for God. If it's something that we need, nothing is impossible for God. They've passed voting legislation trying to suppress the vote. But God's right hand is going to handle that. You're going to be able to vote. I'm going to be able to vote. Why? Because our help, hallelujah, we look for our help. Where is it coming from? It's coming from the Lord because nothing is impossible for God. It don't matter how many laws they pass, nothing is impossible for God. When voting time comes, we're going to be able to vote. Nothing is impossible. 
<clears throat> like the angel told Mary, nothing is impossible. Oh, don't you worry. I don't worry about it. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't worry about it. I'm not saying you don't do anything. That's not what I'm saying, but I don't worry about it. Mm. They put they put something in, you put something in. Hallelujah. They write a law, you challenge that law. Yes, you do something. And that's God will move in and handle the situation. Oh, my, in the hand of God, God is our help, our ever-present help. And nothing, oh, my God, it shall be impossible with God. Mm -hmm. Realize all we have to do is ask. And it'll be given us. See, we'll find. Not. And it will be open unto us. How much plainer can we get? How much plainer can the word of God get? How much profound can the word of God get? Says to ask, to seek, and to knock. Hallelujah. Are you asking? Are you seeking? Are you knocking? Or are you waiting on the U.S. government? Are you waiting on the mayor? Are you waiting on the governor of Georgia who ain't going to help you? Hallelujah. That's not your help. If you're looking to the hill, if you're looking to the White House, if you're looking to the governor's mansion, if you're looking to anywhere where your help comes from, is going to come from the Lord. Hallelujah, which made heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Heavens and the earth. Ask, seek, not because you have help. That is, if you're a child of God, if you're not a child of God, you need to become one because you're going to get whatever you get. When you're not, not repented, hallelujah, of your sin. In John, the 14th chapter and the 26th verse says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. The Holy Ghost, your comforter, <laughs> your helper, the Holy Ghost, our helper, the Holy Ghost, yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. our helper, our comforter. God has supplied our help, hallelujah. His word is our help, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit is God in action, will help us, hallelujah. Uh, the comforter, he'll comfort us, and he's comforting us right now in these times that we're having. The Lord is our helper. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The Holy Spirit is going to comfort us at all times, and that's why I'm not afraid at what lawmakers do. Why? Because they can only do how much God allows them to do, for he has all power in heaven and earth, and they only have the power that he allows them to have. The Holy Spirit is the comfort to let us know that in those times we still have our help and don't worry about it. Uh, do what you have to do and then God will do the rest. When we run out of what we can do, God will do the rest. He is our helper. Look to the hill from his coming. Uh, yes, why our help comes from the Lord. Look wherever you look. Uh, your help comes from the Lord who made heavens and earth. Right now, my brothers and sisters, look for your help. You have help. My help. Hallelujah. My help. My help. My help. I'm going to leave you alone now, but that's my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens. And the earth. And he said before he left the earth, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Lo, I'm with you until the end of the world. Either. So if he's with us, don't worry, you have help. We have help. Hallelujah. We have help. My help. My help. I can't do it by myself, but oh, my help. Yes, hallelujah. I can't even get up out of the bed myself. But my help, I can't eat my food by myself. Oh, but I have help. Hallelujah. I can't go to work. I can't do nothing I do. Can't preach, can't teach, can't do nothing, can't read, can't write. But oh, Lord, I have my help. And my help comes from the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, which made the heavens and the earth. 
We can boldly say the Lord is our helper. We will never fear uh, anything that happens to us. Let's go through this time. You only have a little while longer, I believe, to go fooling around the pandemic. I believe something's going to happen to get us all past that moment. But we've got to do what we know to do. Depend on our help. And our help comes from the Lord. If we'll keep our hand in the hand of the man from Galilee, we will fare well in the pandemic, well in perilous times, well in the cheating, stealing, keeping of those who are the powers that be, we will still fare well. Hallelujah. Get your communion ready. Get your communion ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. Get your communion ready, whatever you have. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to stop off right there. I believe that's enough for right now. Amen. I just wanted to talk to you and tell you something. Hmm? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you a minute to get your communion ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, get your communion ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> get your communion ready, whatever you have. Whatever you have, whatever you have. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever you have. Ah, mm -hmm. my, my, hallelujah. <laughs> But well, we pray that I would bless the sacraments that they have in their homes or where they might be. The broken body and the blood, oh, heavenly Father, for the remission of sins of the whole world, we're going to take now in remembrance, oh God, of your death and suffering on the cross. Hallelujah. Often as we do, we show forth. the death and suffering on the cross, that we don't forget, hallelujah, the blood that you shed for us. In Jesus' name. He took bread, hallelujah. And when they gave thanks, he gave it to them. Take eat, this is my body, this is broken for you. Hmm, my, my, my. After supper, he took the cup. He took the cup. We had given thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. This is the blood of the New Testament. Hallelujah. The remission of sins of the whole world, often as ye do. You show forth my death and suffering until I shall come again. Hallelujah. Bless us, Lord, as we drink. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May this preserve our soul until his coming again. Brothers and sisters, it's a wonderful day. And the Lord has blessed us to live yet for another first Sunday. Take time to remember, oh God, his death and suffering on the cross. He who had no sin became sin, took all of our iniquities to the cross. And as he rose, we rise anew with him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, the blood that gives me strength 
from day Yes, hallelujah. It will never. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. 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 You can call Reverend Alexander, 770-899-6177. Or you can drop a line to the church, Pop Bethel Abbey Church, 2090, County Line Road. Atlanta, Georgia, 30331. Or you can send to the post office box. Drop a line to the post office box. Pop Bethel Abbey Church. The post office box 310434. 310434. Atlanta, Georgia, 31131. Post office box 310. Hallelujah. 310. Amen. Praise the Lord. Atlanta, Georgia. Amen. Atlanta, Georgia. 31131. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm, just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little, as we close out. Amen. Tell us how you enjoy. Maybe you want to join Cobb Bethel. Amen. Drop a line. Amen. To the church or call. You can call Rev. Alexander. Amen. Praise the Lord. Until next Sunday. Amen. Realize uh, that whenever something's going on and anybody is wondering how you're going to make it, you just tell them my help. <laughs> my help. Because the blood will never lose its power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs>